friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today we will make a cute clicker game in Scratch. So let's have a look at the demo. So let's begin. Open up scratch.mit.edu and click on create. Name the project clicker game. Get any transparent cookie from the internet. For example, I downloaded this transparent cookie from PNG tree. I will give this link in the video description. So I've already downloaded it by clicking on the download PNG button. Go back to your project, remove the cat, click on this choose a sprite button, but then choose the option upload sprite and choose the cookie image. Rename the sprite to cookie and you can make it bigger if you want. But I will just reposition it so that it is in the center of the screen and I will change this background color. So how to do that? Go to the stage section and then click on this backdrop and then choose the backdrop tab and draw a rectangle here by choosing the rectangle option and I'm going to give it a dark color here so how about I make it a bit maroonish brown so if I go to the fill option and then make it red and then change the brightness so that it becomes darker okay so this looks good now the basic code of the cookie clicker or as a matter of fact any clicker game is very simple whenever the sprite is clicked we add a one to a score variable so now we need to make our score variable so go to the code section and go to the variable section and click on this make a variable button and name it score okay and i want to change the look of how the score is showing on my screen so i can do that by right clicking on it and choosing large readout and i'm going to bring it towards the center of the screen okay that done so in scratch the game or any code starts when the green flag is clicked so from the events section get the when green flag clicked block and we want to set our score variable to zero whenever the green flag is clicked so go to variables and get the set my variable to zero block and choose the score variable here next thing is to get the event when this sprite is clicked so again go to events and get the when this sprite clicked event. Let me make it a bit bigger so that the code is clearer for you. So when this sprite is clicked, what we want to do is we want to add a one to our score. So again, go to variables and get the change my variable by one block and choose score. So this will actually add a one to the score variable. So this basic clicker game, is complete so if I click on the green flag and I click on it you can see that my score is increasing but as you saw in the demo our actual final game is much cooler because we have small cookies flying out of our big cookie and we have some sound effects too so first quickly add the sound effects so go to sounds click on this choose a sound button and if I go to effects, I have this collect sound, which is pretty nice for our game. Okay, so that has been added to our project. So go to the code, and we want this sound to be played whenever the sprite is clicked. So go to the sound section and get the start sound collect block. Okay, and put it under the change score by one block. Now, our game has its sound effects. Now let's work on those small cookies. We will be using the concept of clones, that is copies. In Scratch, we can make clones 
of a sprite. The clone has the same position on the screen as the main sprite and then we can change the position or change how they move. Okay, so let's work on this. Now I need to duplicate this main cookie by right clicking on it and choosing duplicate and I'm going to rename this this cookie as small cookie and I need to make it smaller. I'm going to bring it here and then I'm going to give it the size 15. Okay. Now, as you can see that because we had duplicated the sprite, it has the same code as the main cookie. So we don't need that. So remove it by dragging it to the left. And I'm going to work on the costume. That is the look of the small cookie because I want a plus one written here. So how to do that? I'm going to first convert it to vector and then I'm going to click on text and then I'm going to choose pixel font from here and then tap here and write plus one. Okay, and then I'm going to make it bigger. Now the color is the same as this background color, so I want to make it white. So now this looks good. Let me make it further bigger. This is fine. Now let's work on its code. So go back to the code tab. When the green flag is clicked, so get the green flag clicked event from events. I don't want it to be visible. Okay, when the game is started. So we need to hide it by going to looks and getting the hide block. Okay, now we want to start showing the small cookies when our main cookie is clicked. So again, go to our cookie code and here when this sprite is clicked, what I want to do is I want to create clones of the smaller cookie. Okay, so if I go to control, I have this create clone of myself block. So I'm going to use that, but no, we don't want to make a clone of the main cookie. We want to make a clone of the smaller cookie. So we can even do that within the main cookie code by changing myself to small cookie. Okay. So this will make small cookie clones, that is the small cookie clones, whenever the bigger cookie, that is this cookie is clicked, okay? Now we are going to work on our small cookie code that when I start as a clone, this is where we are going to make the code for it to give the effect of flying out of the main cookie, okay? I want the clones to show up where the mouse was clicked. So from the blue motion blocks, get the go to block, but instead of random position, I'm going to choose mouse pointer, okay? We hit the small cookie when the game was started, but now I want to show the clones. So I am going to fit the show block from the looks section below the go to mouse pointer block. Now we want our small cookies to move out, but not always in the same direction. So for that, we need a variable for containing a random number, okay? We need a variable just for our cookie sprite. So make a variable, but then choose for this sprite only. And we are going to call it direction y, okay? Now I am going to use this pick random block from the operator section and I am going to get the set block from variables and I'm going to put it below it, below the show block and instead of setting direction y to zero, I am going to plug in or fit in my random block and I want a random number between 1 and 4. So this can have only 4 values 1, 2, 3, 4 that are randomly generated by our code. Now I don't want the direction y variable to show on the screen so I'm going to turn off direction y okay and then I am going to use 
a repeat loop from control and I'm going to repeat 10 times this movement. Okay. And my X will be always 10. I want my small cookies to fly out towards the right because remember positive X means that our sprite moves towards the right and negative X means that our sprite will move towards the left. So I am always going to move towards the right. So I'm going to get the change X by 10 block from motion. So get that and plug that in and I'm just going to randomize the Y. Okay, so I am going to get an if block from control. In fact, an if then else block. Okay, and now just be with me here because my direction Y can have four possible values. One, two, three, four. So I want four slots here. Okay. So how to do that? One, two. So that means I need to plug in another if then else block here like this. Now you can see that I have three possible situations, but we want four situations. So I need to plug in another one. So now this is good because like we have one, two, three, four. Now we have to fit in the conditions here. So what are the conditions? We go to operators and get the equal to block and plug that in and we go to variables and get this direction y block and if it is equal to 1, so if the random number generated is 1, I am going to change y by minus 4. So go to motion and get the change y by 10 block but change this to minus 4 okay and here right click on it duplicate plug this in and we are going to now check for direction y2 and I'm going to change y by 4 a positive 4 and then again right click duplicate plug it in, check direction y is equal to 3, change y by 8 and the last doesn't need to be checked because it will be 4 so I can just plug in change y by minus 8. So we have given 4 random values to y and our x will be always positive that is it will move towards the right and it will fly out in a diagonal direction depending upon the value of y okay and to make the movement a bit slower what i'm going to do is that at the end within this repeat repeat 10 loop this ends here so before it ends, I'm going to add a weight block too, so that our movement is a bit slower so we can enjoy that flying out effect. So this is a weight block, but make sure that you plug in within the repeat 10 loop and not outside it. And this will be 0 0.03 seconds, okay? And at the end of the repeat loop, I want to delete the clone because remember, Scratch has a limited memory. So I cannot have a gazillion clones just staying in the memory. Okay, so I need to delete the clones after they have served their purpose. They have shown a nice cool effect to us. They should just disappear. So go to control and get the delete this clone block and make sure that you put it outside the repeat loop. So the weight block was inside the repeat loop after all the if else had ended and the delete this clone is outside the repeat loop. And now this is done. So let's try out. Okay. So you can see that our y, because of its random value, sometimes it goes there, sometimes it goes here. 
So there are four possible Y's and only one X. So this gives that nice cool flying out special effect, okay? I hope you like this easy clicker game with some special effects to make it more fun to play. Have fun making this cute game. I have many other easy scratch game tutorials already on my channel. So please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss such tutorials. I also teach app development using MIT App Inventor so you can check those tutorials out too if you are interested in making Android apps. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a good day and goodbye.